we're here to meet as, as foreign ministers today to respond to the uh, horrific images that we're seeing uh, out of Ukraine again this morning. Um, the kind of images that I think most people on the continent of Europe uh, felt were consigned to history. Uh, but instead, we are seeing a full-scale war being waged on one of Europe's largest countries uh, by a nuclear superpower next door. Uh, and we need to respond to that uh, as a European Union. Uh, we need to give very clear messages that this is completely unacceptable. It's a breach of international law. It's a breach of the UN Charter. Uh, and it is a breach of a country's uh, sovereignty and right to exist within its own recognised international borders. Uh, and so in response to that, uh, we will be finalising the largest ever package of sanctions uh, that the European Union has imposed uh, on, uh, on any country. Um, and I think for many countries, we'd like to even go further uh, than that package. Certainly from an Irish perspective, uh, we think that the strongest possible package of sanctions uh, needs to be agreed. And if, it's, uh, and if we can add to what we are agreeing today, uh, then we should, uh, in a third round uh, of sanctions uh, within the next few days. I know that a decision has been, I think, made and agreed, and we support it, to add the names of Vladimir Putin and Sergei Lavrov uh, to the sanctions list in terms of asset freezes. And I think that is absolutely appropriate, uh, given who the key decision makers are to actually wage war on Ukraine. So the human misery that we're seeing uh, and, of course, the consequences of that in terms of a fundamental change in the security architecture of the continent of Europe and the relationship between Russia and the rest of Europe uh, is, I think, going to change uh, the way in which Europe functions from a security point of view for many, many years to come. But the immediate uh, concern, I think, that we all have now is for the people of Ukraine. Uh, we are in solidarity with them. We are with them. Um, uh, and we will do everything we can to send the strongest possible signal that we can uh, to Moscow to end this madness uh, as soon as possible and to return to, to the negotiating table. Okay. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, yes. Poland has announced it's going to close its airspace to Russian airlines. Is that something Ireland would consider and would you be in favour of an EU-wide measure of the similar nature? Well, as I said, I think um, uh, we should be consider considering the strongest possible package of sanctions. Um, so what we're agreeing today is what has been possible to agree uh, uh, across all EU countries. Uh, I think that's a, a big package and we shouldn't underestimate the scale of that. Uh, but I also think we should have a third round of sanctions ready. Um, to add, for example, the, the SWIFT system, um, a, a payment system as part of that package. Uh, but I think we should be open to, uh, to other proposals as well, absolutely, to lengthen the list uh, in terms of people who are being targeted with asset freezes and travel bans. Uh, but, it, but if there are other suggestions coming from Poland and other countries, we should be open to that, absolutely. Thanks, Minister. Thank Convince you. other countries Thank to you. do this. Minister, you've got to go. Well, <laughs> That's what we're doing today. So I think we will we'll pass this, this package today that was agreed in principle by leaders yesterday, but I, I'm sure we'll have a, a conversation of where to next also. Thank you. Thank you.